Welcome to this Figma tutorial where we'll be creating an interactive slider control. In this video, we'll be designing two variants of our slider control, one at 0% progress and another one at 100% progress. Next, we'll create four different states, enable it, hover, focus, and press. Then we'll use the prototype tool to connect all those variants and create an interactive slider control. So here, if we hover over our knob, if we change this state, if we press, it will be darker. Then if we drag to the right, it will be dragged to the 100% state. If we click and drag again, it will be back to 0% progress phase. All right, let's start our tutorial. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. Begin by creating a new design file Rename it to slider control. Next, let's go to the shape tool and select a rectangle and click and drag to draw a 300 pixel rectangle by 300 by 8 pixels. Change the width to 300 in the sidebar. All right, next, let's select and give it a border radius 25 pixels. That's great. Let's lighten. It's filled. All right. Next, hit Command C and Command V to duplicate, and let's change its color to a blue color. All right. Then let's grab the right side and move it back to a width of 20 pixel to the left, or let's give it just 10 pixels. All right. I will keep it at the background. Next, let's pick the ellipse tool and click drag hit shift key and draw a 24 pixel by 24 ellipse all right let's align it to the center axis of this bar and let's change its opacity to 50 percent to see what's happening in the background let's move it to all right to the center zoom in then let's grab again our ellipse tool and let's create a 16 pixels by 16 and let's transform it into change its color into blue color and this again maybe we change its color to blue and its opacity will be 30 percent let's move back all right now select all those shapes and create a new component then let's create a new variant Select my two circles and move it to the right, to the edge of my component. And this, let's grab the right side and drag it to until it becomes 300 pixel of width to the right. So now let's change the name of my component to slider control. Let's remove this. All right. And in my property, let's rename this to progress. And this will be zero. And this will be 100. Wait, let's add a new property variant. And let's rename it to states. All right. OK, let's give it some space to other variants. And let's start by creating select the 0% variant and click on the plus button to create a new variant and drag it to the side of the first variant and let's start by hiding this big ellipse let's in the layer hide and here let's keep it visible rename its state to hover it then create a new variant drag it to the side 
select the component frame and give it some space and let's select the big circle or the big ellipse and increase its opacity to 50 percent and select the variant and rename this property to focus it let's do repeat the same process with the 100 percent slider control new variant okay state is hovered in the default state we'll hide the big ellipse let's hide its there and then new variant for our focused states state focused and zoom in big ellipse will be at 50 percent all right zoom back next let's go to the prototype tool and let's select this knob and drag it to the hovered variant and let's select while hovering and smart animate again let's pick the knob and let's go and drag it to the third and while pressing smart animate then let's select the knob of the focused state and click and drag and connect it with the 100 percent default state this will be on drag so once we drag this to the right it will change to this variant and let's keep everything the same next let's select this variant or this knob of the hovered variant and let's connect it while pressing smart animate and again the last knob connected with the first variant and let's select on drag and smart animate all right now let's see our final result create a new frame and in the assets drag our slider control select the frame and hit the play button so if we hover over our knob we'll see the big circle will appear in the background if we focus it will change its color or opacity and if we drag the knob to the right we can see that our slider control work and we have that illusion of a slider control Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. You can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below. And if you are looking for more interactive components, then you should check out Master UI Plus. Everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components. And this will make your design process faster and more efficient. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.